Escaping from cheaters in Tarkov is actually impossible. Banned or not, they will likely just buy another account with their stepbrother's credit card. The amount of fresh accounts with insane profiles, high KDs, with like 10 hours played, there's been far too many in this way. Most cheaters seem to use soft cheats. Very few seem to be using blatant or hard cheats to swipe, at least for me anyways. It's the Tarkov cycle of ban waves and fresh accounts being bought. Thus, the conspiracy that BSG is not doing more than they should because of monetary gains, aka cheater gets banned, they buy a new account, BSG profits. However, I don't really think that's the case since, you know, cheating will eventually destroy the game to the point where no one wants to play it anymore, which would lead to no money being made. Um, BSG bans in time waves, so a cheater will get flagged, but they won't be banned until the next ban wave. I mean, it'd be kind of hilarious if they just stopped banning accounts and instead just put cheaters into like a cheater only queue, or just made them disconnect at the start of every raid they spawned into. I mean, I get the logic. Using a ban wave is supposed to be a pretty good strategy against cheaters. It's supposed to make it hard for cheaters to know how or why they got banned. Uh, example, you know, if some cheat dev decides to test out a new cheat, he gets banned, he won't really be able to tell whether or not he got banned for the new cheat or the old one. I mean, it kind of makes sense to do it that way since it's, it's frustrating for the cheat developers, but uh, the downside is that all the regular players have to deal with it until the next ban wave. And um, so far this wipe has been pretty decent compared to some others. I've been able to get a, you know, a ton of fair PvP, honest interactions. And there's there's a few really sus, you know, obvious ones. Um, I mean, I don't I don't have to explain. You probably experienced it yourself. I mean, just go to the flea market, look for any account with over 100 flea rep, and uh, view some profiles. You'll uh, you'll see some pretty ridiculous KD ratios with a low amount of hours played. And uh, yeah, you know, I don't even care that cheaters vacuum loot. Just loot the map and get out so others can enjoy the game. You know, please. And uh, just stop wasting the time of those actually trying to enjoy the game. Especially when some of us can only, you know, play for a few hours. Seriously. I mean, think about the amount of time cheaters have taken from, you know, us regular players. Collectively, it has to be like hundreds of thousands of hours. You know, dying in raid, re-equipping your gear, spending time in queue for a raid. That's, that's a lot of time. You know, it adds up. If you cheat in this game, I actually hope you stub your toe and your brother, who is probably also your dad, beats you in a game of Monopoly. Okay, um, if you aimbot, get some therapy. You know, betterhelp.com has some pretty good reviews. Also, you'll be much prouder of yourself when you actually achieve something through actual training and skill. I mean, just, just try it out. I'm being 100% honest here. Aim training actually works for most people. Now, if you wall hack, just keep doing so. I mean, I guess it, it sometimes feels good when I bunny hop around the corner and you can't react and you just die to someone that's not cheating. It makes me feel pretty good. Uh, what's the other one? Was there a uh, carry services? All right, bro. If you pay real money for a cheater to carry you through your raids for loot and quest, why even play the game? That's like the whole point. Like, go spend your money on my OnlyFans feet picks. You'll get much better returns. Anyways. Um, here's a dude that's been shooting at us since the start of the raid, and here's how this one goes. Oh, oh no stamina, no stamina. I got sniped at. Yeah. That's from up top on the mountain. There's someone's hacking, dude. Someone's someone's like, literally cheating. When I, when I was on the scout base, like on the be, 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 like behind the container, he was like shooting at it, like very specific, very good, you know, very specifically. Alright, let's just go extract. This is fucking stupid. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm right next to extract right now. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, he hit me. Yeah. Hey, did you paint color? I'm alright. Have a heavy bleed. Boom, 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 boom. Oh fuck! Where? Dead. Oh, the fuck are these cheaters right now? Oh, no. 
No, no one is this accurate from two, three hundred meters away. See, he's, he's whipping by my head still. Yeah, he's shooting now. Behind a tree. I'm by the tent. He's on mount. Might might be a cheater on mount stash. Yeah, I'm gonna run on the bank, I guess. I don't know. He's shooting at us. He's fucking at. Oh my god. Dude. Oh. Run. I got shot. Are you dead? Know, I'm healing. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my god. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. So, before I shot I did like a uh, cool like trick shot jump and I killed a scout. I, I thought I killed a scout. It was a PMC. Yeah. Uh, bro, okay, bro's, keep running. Keep running. Bro's capping hard. No, I have a look for the right now. No, don't, no, don't, no, look, no, don't look, look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't show him your face. You think he's chasing? Yeah, I'm still getting shot at. People have to be like this, man. I mean, if you can beat them, join them, bro. Huh, yeah, That's fuck that. Fucking, I, I'm just not gonna play the game. I mean, there's no point. Feel I'm that. extracting. Yeah, a waste of fucking time. Alright, I'm out. Fuck that guy, bro. He's killing all the scabs from there, too. Yeah, that's yes. so fucking stupid. Is that you coming up on the tree right now? No, I'm, I'm out. I'm out, bro. Oh, that was a different player. Did you kill him? <laughs> no, I just left. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> cheating. No one wears kill a ass to fucking woods, bro. Come on. Damage taken. BCP FMJ. Shot my arm out. <laughs> Fuck that guy, bro. Let's see, that shit makes me just like not even want to play this fucking game sometimes, bro. Hey, I wouldn't blame you. Don't worry about it. Like, no, it's just like, man, I'm already broke and you're fucking cheating like that? Come on. You know, like, try to like, play on Colombia or, or South America, so you're really like, Take my word, just really don't find cheaters there. What server were we just on? NA? Probably East. Yeah. That was a good ping server, so it was probably East. Yeah. What a douchebag. Alright, we survived the cheater raid. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Other than them dumb cheaters like this trying to bounce bullets all over the map, this fight felt pretty decent. Now, I've been reporting pretty much everybody and I've slowly been getting. Like a trickle of notifications that they've been banned. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if over 50% of my raids had at least one cheater in it. I mean, Tarkov raids can have at least... Or anywhere from 5 to 16 people on one map. And all it takes is one person out of that whole group to ruin the whole raid. That means that even if BSG reduces the amount of cheaters to less than 10% of the player base, you're still going to run into them fairly often. Now, if they got that number down to 1% of the player base, it'd be a, a whole different game. And a much more enjoyable experience and could potentially shoot the game up to being one of the best games ever made. Yeah, I know the the hopium is real. I realize it too. Um, but you know what? I just happen to love the game and its unique concept and being optimistic kind of keeps me afloat. Especially when I have days like these. My advice for those who continue to play this game, you know, even with all the cheaters and weird game breaking bugs, you just have to learn how to ignore all the BS. Don't get angry. Just move on. When you get emotional, the cheaters win because they want you to get frustrated in hopes that you'll be their next customer. Sure, we can't. We can get small wins by you know getting cheaters banned, killing them here and there if we get lucky. But um, unfortunately, they'll just be back from the accounts. The only real consequence would be jail or you know even legal action. I mean, I've seen some get sued or caught, but 
even that doesn't seem to stop the majority of them. Um, I've seen some other YouTubers or streamers expose cheaters, or, you know, troll or just waste their time. But at the end of the day, they'll probably be back anyways, you know, since cheating is basically an addiction. Mm, feeling better than those around you, you know, getting what you want the easy way. Maybe they're just having a hard life and need to project their problems into a game. If uh, you're one of those people that say it's just a game, you know, how long before you use that excuse to devalue every other problem in your life? It's really not just a game. People come here to escape from work, enjoy themselves. Some even make a living out this game. If uh, you're cheating, you're just ruining opportunities for everyone else, including yourself. For the record, I still love this game. There's a few other extraction shooters, but nothing quite like Tarkov for me. You know, I looked into single player Tarkov as well, but it's definitely not my cup of tea. You know, I just want to play against others fairly, whether I lose or win, doesn't matter. I'm just tired of dying to a dude on a fresh account with stats that make absolutely no sense whatsoever. Anyways, this is just an update for the swipe and the cheating issue. I'm probably going to play less Tarkov until the situ get, uh, situation gets better. There have been multiple sessions in the last few weeks where me or my squad members just get wiped by a cheater over and over again. Most I've encountered a cheater was probably 5 or 6 raids in a row this wipe. You know, changing servers somewhat helps. You'll still run into them no matter where you're at. Um, for me, I get it the worst playing on NA East servers or Europe servers. And, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if some cheaters are actively trying to avoid other cheaters with better cheats. And this leads to the question, should you still play Tarkov? If um, you're okay with all the cheaters, bugs, and the same issues repeating themselves every wipe, sure, go right ahead. It can still be a fun game a majority of the time. Anyways, um, let me know how you're dealing with all the weird cheaters, and if you have any ideas on how to improve this situation. You know, let me know. Thanks, bye.